Yeah, I think we're down by one, five minutes left. So I think just getting a point. Obviously, we want, you want the second one too, but I think for us, it's just um, it's a mentality that we could play with anyone. And I think tonight we showed again that's probably one of the better teams in our division, and um, we kind of we got one point, which we're happy about, but we didn't get the other one, which kind of isn't very good. But um, it is what it is. Brandon Manning talked about how when you guys have faced Coachella Valley, how patient they are, how patient you guys are in response. It's like a staring contest. Yeah. How how do you guys hang in there knowing that eventually that opportunity is going to come, that you don't have to go outside your game? Yeah, I mean, it was uh, my first game against Coachella. I was out the last two times we played them, but just watching, you know, it was a really fast game. And, you know, uh, just playing in it today, it was, you know, what I saw. So it was really good hockey and, you know, uh, any team could win, and it's just you know about uh, bearing down on the chances. And you know, like Quinny said, we got a point, but you know we want two, and we're going to be looking forward to play them again tomorrow. Did you guys like the, the opportunities that you did generate during the overtime power play? You guys had good in zone time. Did you like what you developed? Uh, not really. <laughs> I mean, four on three, we should be scoring, so there's not really any excuses there. Like, uh, I feel like we could be better in in that area. Yeah, I mean they're two really high end skill players. Um, they're both like natural goal scorers. So I think for me it's just getting them the puck in spots where they can always just shoot it. I trust I have a lot of trust in them and um, I think that showed tonight we had a lot of chances, just gonna start bearing down on a couple more. Quinn. You guys are kind of going to be going to their building. It's a new building for them. It's going to be a new place for you guys to play. How exciting is that? You know, obviously we talked about when you guys had your first games here, but now you get to go to the opponent's building for the first time. And especially for you, but being from California, how exciting is it to be able to go back there? Yeah, no, uh, definitely looking forward to it. I uh, got a lot of family and friends, you know, that live like an hour and a half away. So uh, I think some of them are going to come to the game. And, you know, it's always cool to play in front of family and friends. So. Uh, you know, we're going to be buzzing tomorrow and, you know, hopefully get the two points this time. It, it's the same ice sheet gauge wherever you go, so it doesn't have to matter. But I wonder when you guys go into a new building for the first time, obviously you'll be getting in late tonight. It's going to be a, a quick whirlwind. Is it ever strange that they're taking any kind of adjustments early in the game to get accustomed to playing a new environment? Uh, I don't think so. I think everyone's juniors are always traveling, playing new buildings, stuff like that. I think. That's what warm-ups is for. You get the 15 minutes to fill the ice and do all that stuff. And I think that's, um, I guess as pros, that's what you just adapt to and um, just go forward.